I am an immigrant from Belarus. English is not my first language, so I apologize if I phrase things differently. Here's some backstory. I was only 11 when my family left the country after the collapse of the Soviet Union. My father was involved with the Communist Party and would frequently visit Moscow when I was a boy. I don't know all the details. I don't even know what exactly my father's role was in the USSR, but from what I understand, we were granted asylum in the United States and had to flee Belarus in 1991. But that's not really why I'm writing this story. This is about something I saw in my childhood that has scarred me for life. This took place roughly a year before we left, so I'm guessing the year was 1990. My family, like many others, lived in a massive apartment building in Minsk. There were two other identical apartment buildings adjacent to ours, and directly behind the buildings was a playground area where I would play with my friends Sasha and Victor. Beyond the playground was a section of trees that separated a shopping plaza from the apartment grounds. I remember that my mother was feeling ill and was bedridden, and my father was away on business in Moscow, so I was pretty much on my own that night. I remember that I had gotten bored watching TV in the living room and decided to go outside and see if any of my friends were at the playground. I would say this was around 8 p.m. and it was dark out. By then, most of the children were inside, and I don't even think anyone was allowed on the playground at that time, but I didn't care. There was no one around to tell me to go back inside, and I was pretty excited to have the playground all to myself. It was chilly out that night, but it was not snowing, so I figured that I would play on the slides and swing set until I either got bored or if security came along and told me to go back inside. So there I was, just swinging in the dark, when I heard something near the fence that separated the trees from the playground. There was a strange noise, like someone was sawing wood, but there was something just off about it. I ignored the sound, but it became louder as time passed, to the point where I became curious as to what was causing this strange noise. There were no lights at the playground itself, but there were lights mounted to the back of the apartment buildings that illuminated things just enough to where you could see your surroundings but the trees beyond the fence were pitch black. I got off the swing set and approached the edge of the playground. The sound continued getting louder, even as I got up right to the fence. It wasn't until I let out a curious, hello, that the noise ceased. I stood there staring into the dark trees, waiting for a response, but all remained silent. After about another minute passed, I innocently asked, Why are you chopping down trees in the dark? I then heard a shuffling from within the trees, and soon, I saw a dark figure come into view, but did not step out from the tree line. What happened next is something that still makes me want to vomit out my insides. The dark figure then threw something. The object flew over the fence and hit me directly in the chest. I was knocked backwards more out of surprise than the actual force of the impact. Hey, why'd you do that? I shouted, but before I could get another word out, I caught a glimpse of what had been thrown at me. A severed human arm was lying on the ground in front of me. I screamed at the top of my lungs and ran back towards the apartments bawling my eyes out. I stormed into our apartment and sat on the living room couch to collect myself. I did think about waking my sick mother and telling her about what happened, but decided against it. To give you some perspective, my mother grew up in Siberia and she could be quite ruthless at times. Not only would she not be too happy about being woken up, but she most likely wouldn't believe my story, and I probably wouldn't be able to sit down for a week if she found out I left the apartment alone after dark. So I kept this incident to myself. As a child. I understood that what happened was scary, but I had no grasp of the implications. I thought there was a monster in the woods who ate people who came out after dark. Now that I'm an adult, there are some things that I've come to realize. For our remaining time in Belarus, 
I never saw or heard any kind of investigation regarding a missing person or a mutilated body being discovered, which is nothing out of the ordinary living in Soviet society. The monster in the woods, hiding in the trees that night, was most likely a sadistic madman, dismembering a human body with a hacksaw. There is one more thing that I should mention. For the rest of the time that we lived there, I cannot for the life of me recall ever seeing my friend Sasha again after that night.